Alright guys, welcome to Hypixel Solo Skyblock episode 2. So it's quite early in the morning right now, and I looked at the calendar when I first logged on, and I'm- Wait, what? I swear there's a spooky festival going on right now. A second ago it said there was. Okay, well, really quick, I'm just gonna kill these mobs right here. I swear there is, look. All of the buildings are like, spooky themed. Okay, let's see. If I kill some zombies, then we'll find out. Spooky festival? Dude, why does it not say? So my plan right now is to try and get a bit of candy. I got I got one green, yes. Okay, and I can probably make some money from this, to be honest. Like, I'm not gonna get very much candy at all, because I'm just a complete noob right now. Okay, so we got 48 green candy, and 6 purple candy. I mean, it's definitely not good, but it's like... Let's just head over to the shop and see what we can buy, because I can probably get a couple of things, and at the very least, I'll get like a trick or treat bag. Alright, let's open the shop. Trick or treat bag, which I'll definitely do. A candy talisman, okay, I'll definitely do that. Wait, I wonder if I can sell candy to the bazaar. Oddities. Oh, I can! Sell price. I can get 30,000 coins? What? An 18... Th wh okay, I just made 50,000 coins. I'm also gonna make a zombie minion with all of the rotten flesh that I just got. Getting that looting sword last episode was actually really, like, useful. Zombie minion 3, and I think that's probably everything, yeah. Zombie 3, though, that's good. So, obviously, last episode, I did a ton of the basic skyblock stuff to just get started and give myself access to the bazaar. But this episode is gonna be all about making money, so... I have quite a few really easy methods of making money when you first start skyblocks, so... The first thing that you wanna do is actually go to all of the NPCs and buy anything that isn't really easy to get so things like iron coal gold just everything like that and we're just gonna sell this and we started off with like i think like fifty thousand coins and now we have 60 so yeah it's just a really profitable way to make money and all you have to do is just like sell from the npc so yeah you just repeat this with anything that has a high demand that isn't like super easy to get so do all types of wood apart from dark oak and acacia because there's no real like demand for those jungle wood is definitely really good and also for some reason the oak is good too i think birch is good as well but what we can do is we can actually test it out. So we bought the birch for 320 coins. And if we go into the bazaar, we can sell this for, yeah, 443. So it's literally just like insanely easy profit. And it's even better when you have the enchanted recipes too. Yeah, only do gunpowder and rotten flesh for this because the rest of the stuff is like not profitable at all. Fish rules are really good. So do those too. Be careful with the farming ones because things like pumpkins and sugarcane, I think, aren't that profitable, but potatoes obviously are. Look how weird this is though, so if I sell my wheat right now, it's 2.9k coins, and if I sell it with hay bales, it's 3.6k coins. So yeah, definitely condense everything that you have, like, for some reason, it's just so much more profitable to do it like that. Okay, I just want to test something and see if I lose money. I'm pretty sure I will, but let me just try it. So we're just gonna buy 576 wheat for 2.9k coins, and then if we turn it into hay bales, no way. What? Why don't I just do this over and over again? It's definitely gonna go down. There's no way. 10.7k coins. What is this, dude? Oh, the price keeps going up because I'm, like, reducing the quantity. Oh. Yeah, so you can only do this, like, a small amount. So 9.1k coins, and we sell it for... 10.1. I think that's how you make money through the bazaar, which is kind of cool. Also, make sure you come to the... Oh, that pinata. Yes. One green candy. Let's go. I know rabbit's feet are definitely really profitable, so buy those. Also, make sure you buy packed ice and regular ice as well, because they're really, really good. We're probably going to get over 100k just from doing this. Like, that's actually so good. And let's just sell this. 111k, that's actually insane for just doing absolutely nothing apart from buying from an NPC. Okay, we're going to go to the NPCs that are in the gold mine too, just so we can have even more to sell and then we'll probably be done. But when you can craft the enchanted stuff, this is like a free 100k coins a day. Just like that, it literally takes about 5 or 10 minutes to do. Just keep in mind that your limit resets every day, so you can't like abuse this too much, but it's definitely a really good way to make coins, especially when you just started. And again, this is why rushing the bazaar is so OP, and like why the last episode was just so essential, so... And there we go, 114k. So we're done with the bazaar now. So with the money that I have, I want to buy a pet, but I have no idea which one, like... Alright, so we're gonna buy a common enderman pet from this guy for 5,000 coins. And surprisingly, this is gonna be really good for foraging, because I'm gonna get a ton of XP from foraging, and all of that's gonna go into this enderman pet. And then we can just level it up, and eventually it'll give me a ton of extra crit damage that I can use to one-tap zealots with. So yeah, we have a pet now. And we have our haze potions, and I think that's probably everything that I need for foraging. So this might be slightly overkill, but I'm going to be using all of these potions in one session, so... I'm going to level up my foraging a lot from this, and hopefully this enderman pet is going to be like level 20 or 30 by the end. The reason why a common enderman is so good is because the crit damage bonus is exactly the same as a legendary, but the requirements to level it up are so low. So right now there is a guy with a golden axe here, 
and a guy who's standing still. Ooh, look at that. We have an almost completely empty park lobby. So what I'm going to do right now is probably use all three of my pots. So we're just going to insta break all of this. And I guess I'll just make like a compilation of me leveling up and just upgrading my collections and pretty much anything that's like interesting. So <laughs> look at my pet too. It's like it's leveling up so fast. That's actually crazy. When you first get into like mining logs and stuff, it's just the most satisfying thing, like leveling everything up so quick. So yeah, I'm hoping I can get like a stack or so of enchanted spruce logs. And then I can sell that for about 100k to 200k coins profit. Like it depends on the time of day, but this is a really, really good way to make money. And also like it's a good way to get your damage up too, because obviously it levels up your strength when you increase your combat levels. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Foraging nine, enderman level eight. <laughs> That's actually, I'm leveling this up so quick. And foraging 10 already. That was so fast. Like, I've been, literally been doing this for about 3 minutes. Foraging 11. 44% chance to get double logs too, so it's gonna like, make our efficiency go up a lot as well. I'm just so lucky that I found this empty lobby. Like, there's literally 3 people in here and nobody else is joining. Like, I don't know what the odds are of that, but that's actually like, really useful. Foraging 12, there we go. I feel like I say the same thing every single time I level up without realizing because there's like a, you know, five minute gap in between in between it happening. I'm gonna think of new things to say each time I hit a new level because like, I can't be repetitive, you know. Foraging 13, not bad. Foraging 14. Foraging 15. It's getting way, way slower now. Like, it's 30k XP instead of, like, 1k, but still, foraging 15 is really good. Like, I have 16 strength, and I had, I think, 0 at the start. I don't even know. Foraging... What even is that? 16. Yeah, there we go. Also, my Enderman pet's doing really well. Like, I'm getting plus 26% crit damage from it, which is actually insane. So, that's gonna help a ton when I feel like one-hitting Zealots. Okay, so our haste has like 5 seconds left, but I'd say that was really successful. Like, I'm foraging level, I think, 16 now, and I'm kind of close to 17 too. Yeah, the haste is over. Okay, so let me just quickly make some more enchanted spruce wood. And in total, I got 2 stacks and 9 spruce woods, so... I'm gonna go to the bazaar and we're gonna make a sell order for that. Is that what it is? Or is it a buy order? I don't even- I don't even know. So if I insta-sell it, it's gonna sell for 218k. And then if I go ahead and make a sell offer- Oh, and it was filled straight away. Okay, so if I go to manage orders, we now have 342,000 coins. And keep in mind that my efficiency is probably half of what it should be, but that's still a ton of profits, so I'll definitely take it. So my mic was facing towards the floor when I recorded the next part of the video, so I'm just going to commentate like this over some foraging clips. So the owner of Hypixel basically said that the dungeons update is going to be releasing in two weeks time. Obviously I want to grind to a point in the game where I can play dungeons and have high skills, and my plan is just to grind tons in the next few weeks so I don't have to switch back to my old profile. Now if I use skill XP splashes on this profile, Technically, it's getting free items, but it means that I can speed up the process of getting high skills for dungeons, which means more content for this series. If I use skill XP potion splashes, I'll be able to upload daily because it'll save me time, which means that I can get more content for videos, and I fully finish all of my schoolwork tomorrow, so it just means that I have a ton of time to make videos. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, so leave a comment giving your opinion, and either way, it's cool. Like, I'll do whatever you guys prefer, because either way, it's not a big deal. Okay, so I may have just grinded almost four stacks of enchanted spruce wood. And the reason why I went so overkill, because this literally took two hours, is because I really want to buy an ocelot pet. I've actually been considering trying to craft a wolf, but obviously that's going to be super risky, because if I just go ahead and go to the hub island, it's like 300k for the super egg, and then for the wood it's like 900k or something, so it's genuinely just going to be the biggest risk. And if I get an epic one, which is an 80% chance, then I will have lost so much money. So yeah, I don't really want to take a risk like that this early on. So we have this right now, which I can sell. So we have 285k right now, and I also have a level 47 enderman, which gives me plus 35 crit damage, which is actually, like, pretty good to be honest, but I'm not gonna focus on combat yet, I just wanna like- Oh yeah, I also bought <laughs> some enchanted ink sacks. Um, <laughs> oh no, 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 okay, I didn't actually buy them. I, for some reason, ha <laughs> I tried, like, bizarre flipping, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, 50,000, I thought I had more money. Okay, so we're gonna go into enchanted spruce wood, and we're gonna create a sell offer for the best offer minus 0.1, so it should sell pretty nice and quick. Alright, so I just claimed my sell offer for the enchanted spruce wood, and now we have 722k coins in total. Now what I'm actually gonna do is place a bid on a level 1 epic ocelot, and we're gonna try and buy one for as cheap as possible, which is probably gonna be like 600 to 700k coins. In the meantime though, I'm just gonna do some stuff on my private island, so as you can see, I placed down pretty much all of the mining minions that I got last episode. The reason why is because it's really essential to get each collection to level 4, so definitely do that if you guys are new to 
into the game um because there's so many crafts that are just like really useful to have especially like the enchanted recipes and last night i got kind of bored and i made some measurements on my island and i have something kind of like insane to show you guys this right here is the key to <laughs> did you see that spider okay yeah that kind of hits at what you guys are about to see so i'm actually not on lunar client anymore and i'm using forge and the reason why is because if i press the backslash key you guys can see that it says select schematic file now i'm gonna select this one which i made last night and uh oh wait don't look at that <laughs> don't look at that okay so i have no idea where i put my soup oh it's here okay magical mushroom soup so so i bought some of this on the auction house and if I fly to the pole that's like randomly sticking up here, okay, and I stand here, something insane is about to happen. So I'm just going to shift on the edge and we're going to press J and then B. Whoa, look at these weird purple lines. Okay, and we're just going to look up and look at that. Okay, so this is basically a mod called Schematica, which is allowed on Skyblock. And I've done all of the measurements perfectly, so this fits like right into the center of my island and doesn't sort of take up the place where I want to build my pumpkin farm eventually. And if anybody is a Hypixel player from 2013, this is basically the really old Blitz Survival Games lobby that's like really nostalgic and it looks so nice. And using this schematic, I can basically just trace this entire build and make it onto my island. And eventually we're going to have this thing like floating for people to spawn on. So the actual map is a floating island too, so it'll look really cool as well. So yeah, we're just going to turn that off for now. Wait, no way. It's Gasoline Gary 1975. Dude, Gasoline Gary, what are you holding? Okay, what is that? We're gonna right click him. Level 1 Ocelot. So when I was trying to get my Ocelot, everybody was just outbidding me and I don't have that much money in the first place, so... I decided to use my alt account to buy it, so right here we have Gasoline Gary. I'm gonna open a trade menu with him. And I bought this for 711,000 coins, which I think is actually quite a good price, because it took me about 5 tries to get. Every single time, people paid like 900k, so... And there we go, so I can place this guy down, and then equip it, and we now have an epic ocelot pet. So in about 3 hours of playtime, I made 720,000 coins. This ocelot right here is going to be a really good investment, because it means that I can level it up to hopefully level 100, and then I can sell it for like a couple million coins. So I don't want to spoil anything, but next episode, I'm going to be doing a ton of stuff with minions. I want to expand my collection right here, so that I have pretty much every single one in the game. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy that episode of Skyblock, then let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching that episode of Skyblock. If you guys did enjoy it, then uh, drop a like down below. Also, I'm going to pick the winner of the 10 million coin giveaway next episode, so stay tuned for that, and yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace.